All right, it's good to be back. It's been a while, but hey, Watson. <sighs> All right, from advice, I don't know if X is how to get in here. It's been a while, leave me alone. Um, uh, let's see how that stuff. Oh, my friend Tyler, you guys remember him, right? Right, right? Booby man. He said to go back to the crime scene and check it out. So that's just what we're gonna do. We made it alive and well and kind of cool, I suppose. But yeah, let's go back to the. I think this is the right way, right? Right? Frigidarium. Yeah? No. Wrong way. Um, this way. So I totally wish you could sprint, but you can't, I think, right? Yeah, you can. Alright. All oh, the memories. Champagne bottle. The... <sighs> Good times. Alright. Let's investigate some people. I talk to you guys? It's horrible. No. Nope. I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. Alright. How are you? It's horrible. Alright. So Rodney is dead. Oh, look at this though. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. Yeah. That up. What am I supposed to pick up? Oh, there we go. Eh? Boom. I should analyze this melted metal. All right. X. We got a uh, the something. Yeah. All right. What's this? Examine. There's a crack! One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. Oh. Yeah. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. Alright. So maybe... I don't remember the... Hold on a second. Yeah, okay. I don't remember the person who was right here. Maybe it was him? Was it, maybe? Because if it wasn't, then that could be the murderer. Never know. Steam switch. But that turns on steam. There. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Ah. Nothing's here. Back here, maybe? Oh, I have to do that. Left bump. Eh? Eh? Anything? Can't see. Visual object events is blah blah useful shit. Whatever. I have to use. I have to hit right bumper. Then we have to look around. Maybe. Oh, I think we're here. Stupid. Sorry. No. Then do all right. The douche. Yeah, I get it. To see even a few feet away. I get it. Okay, it's fine. What? Steam switch. I don't want to examine it though. All right. I don't want to use it. Why is this glowing? Is it just because it's evil? I'm unable to see even a few feet away. So the murderer turned on the steam, and then killed him, and then. Did something. Alright, that makes a lot, a little bit more sense. Anything? I don't know what to do! Alright, yeah, this is at work. I'm kind of going blind here. And now I lost it. Right. <coughs> <coughs> something else, but... Alright, that was a tremendous waste of time. What's well, wrong, button? Let's go back to Baker Street. All right. Hello, Bobby. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. Ah, uh, correct. <laughs> piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this sample with a silver penny. 
by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. All right. Um, I think this could possibly be a murder weapon. How that says that? All right. Use that bad boy sticking the acid. Let us compare this. I song. get it, Sherlock. Gosh. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> All right. Poke. Yell. Red. Not yellow. Red. It's not gonna be red, right? Ooh, the reaction is. is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. Maybe the same people who made the coin had something to do with this. All right, what is that? Um, a lot of metals coming up in this. Kind of weird. Evidence. What can I do then? Uh, probably gonna go back to the crime scene, maybe. Huh. Melt the melted metal turns out to be Britannian quality silver. So maybe those have a the link in between each other. The wine. He told me he did spoil it for me, but he told me this is really important. But I have no idea what it is. Found it underneath Sir Rodney's. Sir Rodney's body. Nah. Great, nothing to do. Awesome. Scrape. Um. Uh, what you? should we do next, Holmes? Maybe I need to put on a new suit. You know, it's gonna boost my confidence here a little bit. Um. Makeup table. Nah. Suit, new me. What's it gonna be? Black suit. What's that one look like? A little bit better, a little bit better. Keep it going, keep it going. Green, gray suit. Ooh, I rocked that one out in an earlier case. Can't do it again. That looks perfect. Amazing. There we go. Nice green tie. All right, let's crack this case. All right, we're back. Ready to solve this case. Oh, I know how to speak Greek, I think. This is Greek, right? Sure it is. I know what I'm talking about. Um, this way. Why oh, did you get that the one? Changing room. Oh my gosh! So useful. All right, there's. I'm missing something here. I damn it! Did did those close? Close. Um, more clothes. So his clothes are missing. No, what? Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Not that. Um, um, jeez. Mr. Holmes? Um, 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 so in Steam, exclusive Seattle, Washington. Seattle, and we're in London. Um, I'm going to go back to the, um, um, I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that one place with the rocks. That makes sense. Oh, right trigger is a sprint. I knew it. Alright, this is not the exit. Maybe I'm missing something over here. I gotta be. Rodney's bent clip play. I don't know who Rodney is. It's been a while. There's probably be some useful information there. Alright. Just looking. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Can I go back here now? Nope. Am I missing something over here? Maybe? Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. 
Hi. Me and my my friend Tyler is didn't doing this. He's probably walking me through this. He said this never happened for him, so I might have screwed something up, maybe. That would be stupid, though. Mr. Holmes. Shut up. Oh, can I talk to you? These paths nope. are becoming sinister. I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Wait. Uh, please wait. I need to do something first. Just want to make sure I got everything. Okay, hey, I lost it. Um. All right, clothes, pot, shoes. So, all right, got everything. <laughs> all right. Jerome's. Yeah, yeah. We we only heard that every day. None, Lestrade. All right. Here we get suspects. Be examined at the Scott Yard. All right. Goodbye, officers, and <coughs> and uh, man, Mr. Phillips. Still don't know who that uh that guy is here. Rodney, Rod, remember Rodney? Okay. X, cut it. Jeez, it's been a while. Leave me alone. All right, I'm not gonna be editing these videos that much. Because I don't want to want anybody to miss anything. If I miss something, then you guys can tell me what I missed. Even though not much people are watching, but hey, little little people count. All right, let's examine some shit. All right, we got a notebook. Rodney, Rodney. Oh, Rodney's one of the people. Ooh. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. All right. Whoops. Huh. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. Oh, wait. But first, fetch me a pencil. Rodney was the guy who got... With a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. I'm trying to talk here, okay? I, I think Rodney was the guy who was murdered. Whoops. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Ooh, ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? A little bit right there. There's the one we here. Huh. And then thing? to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Smudge, 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 smudge. Need smudge a little bit better, please. There. Oh, Mr. Holmes, the coroner. But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence. I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Oh. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well, finally get to go in the basement. Awesome. He's 63. That's all I'm going to read out of that. All right, I still want to look at this stuff, though. So this is the guy who got this murdered. This ring was yeah. most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. All right, there's the ring. Okay. I think he just removed it just because. An know. Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Old jewel. And that. I examine this, this thing. Ah. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too. With silver. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. Ah. Here. Coin. Oh. Coin. I love coins. An old and rather dirty coin. V-I-I, what is that? That's a... V-I... Wait, what did the coin look like, Holmes? <laughs> um, 
V I I. Okay. That mean what is that? Uh, Roman numerals. Roman. 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 I forgot what it was. Uh, okay. V I I. You gotta remember that. Remember. Remember that. All right. Ah, sorry. Hand drawn map. Can I look at the map, maybe? Where is it at? Okay. This stuff. Birmingham. It's, I don't know who this is, but. Uh, stuff and things. An ordinary pencil. Awesome! This is amazing. Letter from Sir Gregory Pitt threatening the work of Mr. Blinkhorn. No idea who those guys are. Why is there a handprint? When Gatto found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. Maybe he wiped it off? I don't know. Maybe it's him. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's Wart flower homes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Maybe, maybe he got drugged. May that not make any sense though. All right, this stuff. Gotta get that dialogue, man. An embroidered silk handkerchief. All right, all right. A pen. Fountain. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Oh. A card. I killed him. Okay. <laughs> Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Alright. You get a card for visiting it. And yeah. Alright. Let's go, Watson. Let's see people. Things. Locked. Dang it. Which way should I go? Right or left? Right? Right or left it is. Uh, which one should I do? I just made a choice. I'm going to do. Please you. escort this Gosh, suspect. Make this game so complicated. Update you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Mm -hmm. With that attitude, you're going to have to. All right. Ear, eyes, nose, face. How about this side of his face? It was his nose. This thing. Mouth shape. Okay. Oh, he has a, the pimple on his face. Ooh. Ring. Ring. Maybe he was jealous and killed him for his ring. I don't know. But it's kind of a bunch of people with wealth and a shower. This kind of seems awkward because a bunch of guys have a lot of money in the showers. I mean, it's just kind of weird. It's, hey, this is me. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business. But now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. Right, Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? You were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. All right, the murder. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. Then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. All right. Recent usual events? Has Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. 
Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. And after all, it was not my business. Your work. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. X! Ah! Um. Ah, uh, Sir Rodney's ring. Dang it! How was the work progressing? Yeah, yeah, Rather yeah. slowly, I would say. X. The drink. When it's not the champagne, that makes sense to me, but... Ah. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at Vards. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind. Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Bath's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. See, he owns the bath, so he know everything about about it. Maybe any secret passageways. I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. Sorry, it's kind of a shit time to leave the video, but I'll probably just end up be recording right afterwards on the same shirt. It's gonna be crazy. So look forward to that, and I'll see you guys later. Whew.